Hey manufacturing fam, this is Eddie with MTD CNC. We are holding it down with our friends here at Jurgens. But I saw a pretty interesting thing here. We're looking at work holding, but some end of arm tooling. And I have John here for some real explanation. So first and foremost, how you doing this morning, man? Doing great, how are you? Hey, it is well with my soul, but okay, Jurgens, we've got work holding. That's what I know, but I'm seeing a robot. I'm seeing end of arm tooling. You owe me some explanations, man. So Jurgens is definitely trying to get into the automation field. So what you see here is our manual vices. So a lot of people have these in their shops. They'll have our self-centering vices, our smaller 75 millimeters. We have 130 millimeters. And what people are trying to do is get into the cobots so that they can have their machines run in 24 seven lights out all the time. So what we have here is an option to take those vices and using our ZPS system, you can pop a stud on the end of your vise this here is an end of arm tool, and this guy will come over and be able to grab those vices for you, put it in your machine. And knowing this, it's very interesting being you know, a world leader in the work holding sector, but checking out this end of arm tooling. So let's just be honest, man, we're looking at the operator's perspective. How is this changing the game? So what this is doing from the operator is now you do not have to worry about setup time so that's basically one of the worst things that you have to worry about is you have operators sitting over to the side and they are taking the majority of their time putting parts into the machine that's where your downtime is and especially in between you can have multiple machines running with this so you could have one guy turning on a robot and just have all this you could have this modular setup you can have multiple vices you can have pretty much anything that you can think of and this will just make your machine able to be run lights out Man, running lights out, we're reducing that material handing. And now, hey, work holding is doing the robot. So solid stuff, John, appreciate it. I'm gonna take that mic, we're stealing over. And now we talked about what's going on outside of the machine. Let's transition to inside the machine. Hey, you ready to talk about what we're seeing here and how this is rocking it, man? I am, Eddie. There you go. Hey, let's dive right in. What are we seeing? We got the focus on the end of arm tooling. What's going on the outside? This must be on the inside. Yeah, so this is our automation solution for inside the machine tool. So the, the key component here is this gripper system. This works with either your through spindle air or coolant to power the gripper. And what it allows you to do is pick and place right on your machine table. So it's all done through the machine control. I don't need the floor space of a robot. It's, it's by far a fraction of the cost, so you pair that with one of our hydraulic or pneumatic vice options, and you can do it all right on the machine. Right on the machine, reduce the time. So let's talk about this from an operator's perspective. What's the most exciting or some exciting features that are really gonna help impact that bottom line? Yeah, so you can store your parts on the table, um, and then you're gonna, an operator, using a system like this could in theory set up multiple machines they could tend to while this is doing the loading and unloading of the parts or you increase that productivity with lights out manufacturing you know when you don't have an operator present mm -hmm. yeah which makes sense we're talking about lights out and we're combining these solutions we're looking at what's happening outside of the machine combining it with these options inside of the machine man and above all this what excites you the most about this technology I just like how simple and easy it is to use. You know, we talk about the gripper systems. It's a quick change insert, so you can go from a finger style to a um, universal style with a serrated and, and soft elastomer pad. We have a machinable setup, so it's very quick, easy for the operator to get going and configure this to whatever types of parts they need. There you go. Hey, Jurgens, helping the world hold it down. Everybody, hey, this is Eddie from MTD CNC. We'll see you next time.